I needed an audio upgrade. The quality of my audio and my recordings wasn't that good. So I went to the Tommen website, purchased a UMC, Euphoria UMC 202 HD audio device, USB, and it came swiftly in the post. I got the box from Tommen, which is a German company that deals with musical equipment. It came promptly. I was very happy to receive it. I opened the box. There's the UMC package right there. Quickly unraveled it. There's a sticker inside, some manuals. The device itself, the USB cable is neatly tucked away in the side of some styrofoam packaging. And the UMC, Euphoria UMC 202 HD is neatly wrapped in plastic. Very nice, very sleek metal finish. So it's very easy to set up. You take your USB cable that comes with the device and you plug it into the back right there that says USB fits snugly in. You can't get it wrong because it comes with two sizes, one square and one rectangle. The rectangle bit, which looks like this, goes into your USB port on your laptop, or as you're gonna see me do, put into my powered hub, which comes from Amazon Basics. And that is just a way of extending your USB ports on your laptop, if you're running low like I was. You just find the port, an empty slot, it fits in snugly, just click it in. And that's really all you need to do to connect it. But as soon as you click it in, if you watch the front, what you'll see is the power indicator light up as you connect it to your hub like this. Power indicator is good, it lets you know the device is on because it doesn't have an on off switch. Now on the back, there's a 48 volt oh, phantom power on and off switch. I'm sure it would have been just as easy to put an on and off switch for the entire device, but that's an aside. So you switch it on. And once you look at the front of the device, there's another indicator light just below the power indicator that lets you know that 48 volts is now active and can power your microphone. In my case, it is the Behringer B1 condenser microphone. So now let's get to hooking up the mic itself. This is the mic in question. It's a beautiful mic, silver, Behringer, B1, XLR connector. Beautiful. You need an XLR cable. This is the female end because it has the holes or sockets that will receive the male pins inside the microphone connector. So you're gonna connect these two devices, the UMC 202 HD and the Behringer mic or whatever mic you have. But in this case, it's a an XLR connector. You can also connect phono plugs because it's a combination jack, but for this video, we're going to connect the XLR. First, we'll take the connector side of the plug and slide it into the microphone. That's that. And then we're gonna take the other side. This other end then would be the male side of the XLR cable as it has the pins that will go into the sockets of the female receiver or XLR socket other way, other way, on the Behringer UMC202 HD audio device. Then we'll tap the mic. And we'll be getting a signal right underneath where it says clip. If you can see that in the background, I'll just zoom in to give you a better picture. As we tap the mic, we see the signal indicator lighting up to let us know that there is an a sound signal going into the device. And all I have to do now to correct or raise my vocal levels is to grab the gain knob and turn it up. I can monitor it back once I've recorded a sound into my computer. We'll do a little test first and then see if this 
audio is working. Let's take a look at DTS sound. Right now, I'm recording through the onboard microphone of the laptop. So, as you can hear, the sound quality isn't as clear as you're going to hear later on. I'm excited because I haven't installed the software. I put my headphones on and I want to do a better quality audio video and then continue from where I left off. So, right now, I'm going to go listen to this recording and come back. But first, this. Ten secrets to getting off your ass and making better decisions. More money before more honey. The first thing you want to do is go to the Beringer site and download the drivers. Now we don't need a software program to manipulate audio, so we're just going to ignore that on the site and go straight for the drivers. So we go to Beringer.com. And music dash group dot com brand Beringer slash home and then we want to look for in the search box the UMC there we go 202 HD comes up automatically searches we find it here we click on it and that's one reason I bought this because the fidelity of the machine 24 bit and 100, up to 192 kilohertz is a lot higher than your average plug in USB sound card. And setting it up, which I'm going to do right now, is allegedly easier than the focus, right? Because I hear one brother talking on Amazon about how he's very upset that focus, right, have not prepared the proper drivers for Windows 10, but bearing a hair. Let's listen to an Amazon user having issues with their Focusrite drivers. I'm not, I'm not going to tolerate this. I, I just want to say this. I've been using a PC for 17 years. I'm not a naive user. I try and fix the problem. I work, I, I do tests, but it just refuses to install the drivers. I've been sitting there twiddling my fingers. So what can I do? To, I'm, gonna, I'm just sending it back. because I'm not going to spend £88 and have this problem. Get your drivers right. Come on. Just, I'm, 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 I've never seen anything like this. This is one of the first time I've ever had this problem. 16, 64 bit, Windows 7. That's the, the specs of the PC. So my PC is fine. And you know, this is going back to the shop. I'm telling you because I'm not going to have this. Uh, I've, I've, I'm already going to send it back because I'm not having this crap. And also I have a Behringer. I have a Behringer mixer and I never had any of this crap with my Behringer. The Behringer mixer, the Behringer drivers, everything went in there sweet as a nut. This is crap, this is. Back to the simple Behringer installation of software drivers for the UMC202 HD. So, let's go down. What are we looking for? We're looking for drivers. Maybe we should go to download, which is at the top. Yeah, go to download. Press home, download. Okay, we have images. We have, this is for the Euphoria UMC202, so we have images here. We have documentation, which we've already got. And we've got apps, which I said earlier we're going to ignore. We've got SoundForge, which we will be working with later on in the video. And we've got drivers, and this is what we want. My system is Windows 10, so we don't want the driver for Windows XP and Vista, we want this one. This is driver 3.29.0 for Windows 7 to 10, so I've got Windows 10. We'll take this one. Thank you very much. And we'll save that. We've got the downloads. And we'll open the folder, that's in, and just double click. And I'm sure we can run it 
from the archive. Not to avoid any errors, I'm going to do. Let's drag and drop in the desktop. And then double. So yes. And what I want you to also notice is that on DTS sound, it hasn't recognized, even though it's plugged in via USB, the UMC 202HD. So what should happen in theory is I'll install it, install these drivers for the USB card and it should appear here. Right now the microphone and stereo mix is from the internal card from the laptop and a playback device is coming through the HP speakers. So, we'll click next, click continue, bearing at UMC audio driver, install, let it do its thing, and talk about other reasons I chose this sound card. Apart from the good reviews, what I'm looking for personally is something where I can make my voice sound exactly as it is. You're hearing it now, but you're not hearing it in all the fidelity and clarity and quality that you could hear it if I used UMC202 HD. So pre-installation was successful. Click next to continue. Next. UMC version 3.29.0 has been installed on your computer. Click finish to close this wizard. Click finish. Let's go down there and see if it recognizes it. Yeah, look at that. So we now have a second set of speakers here and a line for line in. If you go to earlier in the video, it would have just had this speaker for the HP and the microphone which you're listening to now and the stereo mix. So what I'm going to do now is stop the video and come back while I've set up when I've set up the condenser mic and you'll hear the audio quality difference. Let's take another break. Ten secrets to getting off your ass and making better decisions. More money before more honey. So here we are. We've installed the drivers and as you can see I'm getting a monitor signal into the PC. You're actually hearing the audio now, a higher quality. The hiss in the background, you'll have to forgive, as that's my distiller. I had to put it on because I was running low on distilled water, which is very good for you. Now back to the video. Now, after a little noise reduction. This actually makes my voice sound a lot clearer. The mid to low tones are rounder. They're not harsh. The high tones, there's not too much tss 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 hiss at the top of the top end of the audio spectrum is very well balanced. I like it, and as you saw, it's so easy to install. Let's take a look again. Right here, DTS sound. What we're getting the sound through now is the line in from see where this hand, this mouth pointer is, the line in, let's see what it says, set this device as a default device, yeah, the line in from the UMC 202 HD, we'll minimize that, I'm using the headphones output and I love that because it allows me through the direct monitor button to turn the headphone volume right up without interfering with the main mix. I've got the headphone socket on. I'm listening to what I'm saying right now, so I'm monitoring while I'm recording into the PC without interfering or feedback to the Behringer B1 microphone. This, I'm very, 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 very happy that I've got this. The next time you hear my video recordings now, my voice will be this clear all the time and the background noise won't be so loud because I won't have the distiller on, but I have to do it. Anyway, let's take a little bit 
more of a look at the software it's not much it's just this one this is a word document this is what the driver install audio firmware upgrade as Microsoft Word document and this is actually the control panel so this tells you the status USB audio device gives you the current sample rate the format two channels 24 bits the buffer settings USB streaming mode safe and ASR old buffer auto volume the input if you change this the sound in my headphones doesn't go up and down but the recorded volume that you just heard does so that's the input volume and this is the output volume for the left and right output on the back of the device so you can send this to some speakers or to a stereo if you want to record something else or output to a different device so it's very simple I'm very happy with the purchase Bearing has done another knockout product it's easy to install and if you are in the market for a budget device that actually works without driver problems, I would highly recommend the 202, the UMC 202 HD. Thank you for watching. I'm very glad that I got this product. I bought it from Tom. You can do it as well. Buy it from wherever you want. Just get one. It's brilliant. Ten secrets to getting off your ass and making better decisions. More money before more honey. Sponsored by BuyMeLikeMe.com, helping you to help yourself.